Hey, I'm KIC and the blades have stopped spinning. I feel like I need to say it one more time just to be sure. But yes, I'm reckless, intentionally so, okay? So there are going to be times when I do things that don't make any sense and that's just how I roll. And I hope you understand that because really, if you've seen me before and you're surprised, I'm not sure how that's even possible. One of these zombies over here, we're not going to go through all these bodies because I already have, well, many of them. But one of these guys, there you go, had a pistol and some hollow point rounds, so I thought that might be worth grabbing. I have a couple more. I'm not, well, yeah, we only have a few more of these guys. We'll see. You never know. I mean, come on. Pistol and some hollow point ammo? Holla? Some hollow point ammo? Holla holla. Not too shabby, right? Bunch of the spikes are gone. That's totally cool. We still have all sorts of stuff we can do from the standpoint of bettering our defensive systems, so there are a lot of things we can do here. I'm not sure if we're going to do all of them. I mean, I, I just I just told you I intentionally do things that are reckless and dumb, okay? Because if I don't, the hordes end up being so boring that it's just not really much fun for me. So I like to just sometimes goof around with these zombies a little bit and just do things that make no sense whatsoever if you were not trying to, you know, be serious and all that stuff. If you, well, if you were trying to be serious, rather. I'm not. I'm just trying to have fun. And like I said, I, I need to kind of mix it up a little bit sometimes with this game, because when you have darn near a thousand hours into it, you know what? Let's go ahead and repair that. Sure, why not? And then wear that. That's going to be an upgrade. Look at that! We got a clothing upgrade from the Horde. That's unexpected. I actually want to place the last of these spikes, so we'll just pop them in right here, whatever. I'm not going to worry about those bodies. They'll they'll all vanish eventually. i just trying to clear a little bit of it, so they're just not everywhere. I mean, there are just so many of them. It's just kind of like, ugh, so many zombie bodies. Too many. Too many. Anyway. I think we held up pretty well, considering what I was doing was kind of the definition of insanity by just opening the doors and letting them go in and not paying attention to this so that when it gets damaged from, you know, chopping up... Oh, I missed a block. All the zombies, it falls apart. Ah, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I had fun with it. Not gonna sweat it. We actually do need to... Hey. Go ahead and open, buddy. I mean it this time. Open. What did I... What was I trying to repair there? I guess it was that. All right, whatever. The only problem with that is those vault doors are a little slow on the upkeep. You know what I mean? Little uptake? Uptake. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Forged steel. Let's make a bunch of forged steel. That's what we're going to start off with today. We're going to set that as a favorite so I can click favorites and not lose it. So there we go. We have a bunch of forged steel to make. Why? I don't know, because we went through a bunch of it, so why not? So if we do a thousand, or rather, if we do <laughs> a thousand, uh, take a zero off. If we do a hundred of that stuff, that's going to go through 2,000 steel and a thousand clay. We have a ton of clay in there. We have a bunch more clay ready to go in. And really, at this point, we could probably switch that guy out and go put our metal back in. Since we're going to be chewing through so much of it, I would actually like to do that. Just to kind of make sure we don't run out of metal. We're not really in any danger of that happening. Don't don't worry about that. I'm just kind of from a standpoint of, uh, I think I'd like to do that. That's what we'll do. So, we'll go throw this bad boy in here and we'll see how we're doing. We need to go get some more stones, but we'll see how we are doing on the cement and concrete front. Yeah, lots more. Nope, try that one. There you go. Let's give this one some juice too. And it has actually blown through everything. Wow, how about that? Well, that'll line it up just fine. Cool. I guess that means we need to go get some more stones. Wasn't really planning on doing that, but I, I really would like to make sure we're not running out of concrete here. I mean, we have about a thousand sitting in the inventory, roughly. Something along those lines. So we do have a fair amount, but that's going to go quickly. I mean, that's a hundred blocks, basically. I mean, it might not even be that much. Are you lead? Yeah, you're lead. Get the lead in my inventory. Sweet. 
We need some lead. We need more than that. I'll, I'll stop every time I see lead right now. This is one of those rare points in the game where I'm like, Oh, lead! I am all over lead. Oftentimes, I don't care about it. What are you? You're copper... Is that what you are? And zinc? Yeah, copper fragments and some zinc. I, I don't know that we need... That we need copper. I'm not sure. We're not really doing manual brass right now. I mean, there's, there's so much brass in this game that... I really am not convinced that we need to do it that way. Wow, this this thing is chewing through the stone so fast that I don't even have time to judge when it's done, and instead I'm chewing up the ground. Holy cow. Okay, let's let's do a number on this guy then. I wanna see. Yeah, this is This is nuts. This thing is chewing through it even faster than I remember. That is insane. Holy cow. Zombie, by the time you get over here, there's not going to be much left. I mean, seriously. Oops, I broke that one. I didn't get to harvest it. That's a shame. Harvest. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, dang it. I'm just being so reckless right now. What did I tell you about being reckless? Here, let's use a club. And then let's just keep on chewing this guy down. This is just bonkers. This thing is insane. We gotta play with the new chainsaw, too. I haven't tried chopping down any trees in a while since we've upgraded these guys. That was a little while ago. It feels like an eternity ago at this point. I mean, probably hasn't been that long for you, but it sure feels like it's been a long time for me. A few more. There we go. Pop, pop, done. Done. Excellent. I feel like that's probably enough, so let's, uh, here, we'll that one. And we'll do this one right here. Oh, man. Chop that. Not a tree down. And I guess... Uh, I don't know here. Whatever. That's that's sufficient. I, I'm going to plant some trees now. Really? Only got one seed out of that? No kidding. Oh, I bet because I didn't have the inventory to carry the other ones. Ah, oh, crud. Now I feel terrible. Now I've just chopped a bunch of trees down and I haven't done my due diligence of of replanting. There we go. That's that's a little better here. We can at least replant those guys. That's that's good. Wow. Oh, and you brought tungsten and bullet tips. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, and two more maple seeds. Look at that. Perfect. Excellent. Now I feel like a good member of this community. I have replanted the trees I have destroyed. In fact, there should be some trees nearby the tower that were somewhat recently planted. I'm curious how they're doing. I gotta tell you, too, you haven't seen it. I've done this a few times. Here, I want to do this with you, because this is pretty cool. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing in the world. It's not, and it never is going to be. I'm sorry, it just, it's not. That's, you're asking the wrong guy if that's what you're looking for. But check this out, okay? Here's what we're going to do. Check it out, look at that. That looks kind of cool. Like, we're just kind of rolling in, and you get this this kind of big tower, and then you realize you get even closer, and you're like, oh, wow, it's still big. It's it's bigger still. It keeps getting taller. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Maybe that's just me. I mean, like I said, it's not the coolest looking thing in the world, but dang it. It is pretty cool still. Just the same, you know? It's a pretty cool building. I, I like it. You ran out of juice, but you're actually fine in that regard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here, let's do this first. Let's, uh, I don't think I have all the crushed sand on me. I don't want to re, I don't want to use that right now. Let's go grab what we have. I don't want to make crushed sand when we have crushed sand ready to go. Because we kind of need those stones for melting purposes. So, concrete mix. That's going to open up an inventory slot. That's fine. So, we'll do... This guy here will do one in there and one in there, and then my good old fashioned one in there. And then that'll mean we need more stones because we're going to have a ton of them. Anyway, that's fine. There you go. We actually emptied that bad boy out. So 787 times three ish. That should give us a fair amount. How are you doing down here? You have a hundred of that stuff all good to go. We have more of that we can put into you. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and make. 
100 forged iron now, because what we're going to do is do a little digging on this building. We're going to destroy it a little bit. Let's make sure you have plenty of wood to keep this fire going. 100 forged steel. That's not bad. I mean, I know, that's not that much. When you start talking about upgrading blocks to steel, it's really, it's almost nothing, which is kind of, kind of sad, actually. Actually, you know what? I, I forgot. Hold on. We got to go back here. My bad. We were supposed to go downstairs first. So many things going on. So, so many things going on. Land claim block. We're going to go ahead and craft a new land claim block because we're going to get rid of our existing one. I know. It's a waste, and I, I totally agree with you, but it'll all work out just fine. It'll be okay. We have, we have stuff we're going to manage to do with them. I think what I'd like to do, though, is grab that steel back. We need to kind of swap out some of our resources here, so we'll just drop all this stuff off. Man, we have so many just random things in here. It's like, what's going on? We're still not... Where are we at? 94. We're still not ready for tungsten. We have 31 points to spend. That's pretty exciting. We could upgrade weaponsmithing, toolsmithing, mechanic, something along those lines. I, I kind of wouldn't mind doing weaponsmithing, giving that an upgrade, and maybe armor smithing too. That would basically expend every point we have sans one. So I'm going to think about that one because we're not in dire need of any of this right now. Electrical parts, we might want to actually get the the skill that lets you make electrical parts. I think there was a skill for that, or maybe I'm thinking of mechanical parts. Maybe it's all tied together. Electrical parts, and yeah, there we go. Insulators, forged iron, and duct tape. So how do you make insulators? Insulators. You make them like that. Well, that's easy enough. And you need a tool and die set, so... Can you make a tool and die set, by the way, or do you have to find that? Yeah, you have to find that. That's kind of what I thought. I mean, that's the way it normally is, but with this mod, you never know. I'm, I'm not sure what has and has not changed, so that's all. That's that's where I'm coming from. Let's drop off this ammunition and this pistol. That's the one we just picked up, of course. I mean, we have so many pistols, it's stupid. They should all just be combined into something better, but there are limitations right now. We can only do so much. This is going to be a problem for what we're going to do. And I don't really have a good solution to that right now other than to basically abuse this poor generator, which I know needs gas. I was just thinking that too. There you go, buddy. As a matter of fact, here, let's grab this. We'll grab that one. We'll refool, refool you. We'll refool you. Oh, man. I can't even speak. What's wrong with me? So many things. Don't answer that question. Hey, I said don't answer it. Dang it. Refuel that. How are you doing over here? I think we can go ahead and maybe take the glass out for right now. And let's swap that out for lead because we don't have enough lead in there. And it's about time we start talking about maybe doing bulletproof glass or something along those lines. I don't know. I mean, here, let, let's see what we have here. Let me, let me backspace that out. And if we look at all of our glass op options, options... So we could do some business glass. That's what I did before. That's what's upstairs where I was kind of testing that out. We could do business glass. I kind of want to do... I kind of want to do shower glass almost. Just because I kind of think that might look a little better. Let's make one of those just for right now. I don't like how it's all... big and thick though. Let's try one of those, too, just to see what that looks like. I'm not really sold on what I want to use. I want something that doesn't make things so dark. And since the standard glass, plane, glass pane is just dirty and nasty and the industrial stuff, I just don't like the look of it. I mean, here, we'll, we'll do an industrial one just, just for giggles. And then let's do a bulletproof glass block, too. I, I'm not sure that I'm going to like the look of this, but we'll do one. Actually, you know what? Uh, cancel that. Belay that order! Do it as a glass plate. Actually, do it as that one. Do it as glass centered. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if I want to do it that way or that way. Let's, let's do one of each. We'll queue up one of each of those. 
So our land claim block is ready. We're transitioning now to the this thing, obviously. Bladed trap. Let's go ahead and make a uh, blade trap. How many do we want to make of these? Let's make one. We'll make four of them. I'm not sure why I did it in that way. I was just trying to figure out what we really need to do. So we'll grab all that stuff out. How are you doing up here? We should have a bunch of concrete mix ready to go. Yeah, you still have a lot to go there, buddy. Keep at it. You're doing good work. You're doing good work. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and spit some of that stuff out? How are we doing? That is all done. Let's go play with glass. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Assuming I remember correctly, the one that's up there right now is business glass, so... Nope, we got some zombies coming in. Just gonna ignore them. And hope that it all turns out to be just fine. So we put the business glass right there. I'm gonna grab the shower block glass. We're gonna start with that one. And then maybe... Let's do the business glass plate, because I have a feeling, and I could be wrong on this, that it's going to... Yeah, I, I was going to say I have a feeling it's going to hit at the far end, like that, which I actually kind of like the look of that a little better. I mean, you know, when I think of when I think of windowsills like that, I think I want a large windowsill. That way my cat can sit in the windowsill and enjoy the warmth of the sun. So I kind of like the look of that, and, and I'm not sure, but I'd be willing to bet you I can kind of stand up close to that and really, really be able to see down versus like that. I'm just like, I, I just can't see. I mean, I don't think it's going to be any different in terms of how dim it is or is not. But let's try the shower glass. That's basically just the business glass, only thick. So, so noted. Not really what I'm looking for. So here's industrial glass centered. And what do we have here? Bulletproof glass and bulletproof glass centered. Uh, let's do bulletproof glass and industrial glass. And we'll just compare these, I guess, right... Right there and... Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of that one at all. So this is the bulletproof glass pane, which needs to be turned on to advanced rotation so I can spin it around. There we go. I don't know why I chose this of all the, the windows I could have chosen. Not quite sure why. I don't know that I like the look of that. I like the look of that. I would much rather not see the lines of the, I'm just going to say whatever that is. Some sort of Kevlar weave or something in the glass. This you can't even see out of, so this is just garbage. You need to go away. Now, the thing is, with this stuff, it's going to take a ton of damage to get rid of. So, it's going to be sturdy. It's going to be really sturdy, but I just don't like the look. I mean, looking out there, look at that. I just, I don't like the look of that. So, let's just chip away at it and get rid of it. I'm not, I'm not feeling that. I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. This will be good stuff on the bottom floor. But I'm just, I'm just not feeling that. This is, I think this is what we go with. We go with the business glass. And we go with the pane. So if we can do it like this. We can stand right here. We can get right up close to the glass and look outside. And what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll replace every window with this stuff. Every window. And I'm not sure, but we might do something different for the top floor. Now that I've said all of this. Because we know, let, let's just be clear here, we know that all along, these windows down here, these are temporary. I mean, I don't hate them. I actually do kind of like them. But I kind of want to go for a little more modern look, which would mean getting rid of all the wood windows. So, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we just keep wood windows everywhere. I don't know. Now I'm, in, now I'm indecisive, because I do kind of like the look of it with all the wood we have going on. Maybe we just stick with the business glass for the top floor then. I don't know. I still have to go in here and, and basically demo all of these windows. Like, I, I got to demo that one and demo that one and 
demo that one. Those aren't as, aren't as obvious because, you know, you got stuff hiding behind it but like that one. Yeah, I want to get it so that we have three three window high everywhere. So we're, we're going to have to do that. We still have a lot of things we need to do. You'll notice I set up some additional chairs just in case we have some guests. We got that going on. I've still got to adjust these ones, although I might not adjust these ones just because it'll look kind of weird to have a bunch of windows behind the counters. I think that one kind of has to stay. I don't know. Maybe we leave this floor as is and the rest of them go up high just because it's the nearest one to getting damaged. I'm, I'm not really sure. I should mention that the battery, by the time we got to morning, I guess that's all that's left over? Or is that all you're providing? I'm, I'm not sure now. Anyway, this guy turned back on so that the both bladed traps were spinning, so I don't know. That was a little weird to me that we ran out of juice for them, but I figured the, the batteries just hadn't had a chance to charge up yet. We really need to get more solar arrays, more solar cells, and we're just, we're just not there yet. Haven't had that luck at the trader. Now, I probably missed buying some at some point. I, I seem to recall that being something that happened and, ah, uh, you know, it, it just, it happens. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm kind of tempted to take this block right there and get rid of, and get rid of that one. And we can now place that guy right there and listen to some weird tribal drums and uh, all is good in the world. So I'll just put that back down there for, for the time being. We're, we've returned to where we were or we just have a random wooden block right there. I don't know. It's weird, right? It's weird. But technically, if we get rid of that block, that block, and that block, and I kind of want to just move the traps now or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, we can we can get rid of stuff such that we maybe put a little ramp right there. That's how we get in and out and all that sort of jazz. We can put another blade trap right here, which would really help with basically backing up the defense here. Because some of the zombies were clearly getting through. And as we did see, we can do this. We can indeed. I don't know. I am tempted to just move them now. I don't know. Whatever. We'll, we'll decide on that. I think on the next one, because I'm I'm indecisive about so many things right now. I mean, they're they're fine right now, but I do kind of want to move them. But I didn't really leave enough space. The way I did this, I actually need to move all of these walls back by one. And then we'd be okay, because I originally had a different thing in mind for this, and I changed it at some point. So, I don't know. And then we have the problem if we don't have enough electricity to power both of these. Not with the, the solar cells, so that's a whole separate thing too. And I don't know. It, it just it kind of becomes this thing where we're like, man, now what? Now what do we do? Do we have any paint? I want to paint one block right now. I want to paint that land claim block just so that it... Um, let's change that to materials. Um... Hmm. Kind of like the look of that concrete. That's kind of nice. I guess that's what we could do, is we could just make stuff look like bookcases. But honestly, I want them to be functional things. I don't want them to look like things. Like, I want actual bookcases, you know? Where's the reinforced concrete? Is that is that not something that that we can we can paint as? There it is, right there. There we go. So land claim block now looks like reinforced concrete. It's not, but it looks like it. I'm good with that. I hope you're good with that. And that's where we're going to leave it. Because you know what? We got some zombies lighting themselves up. And I guess I better go take care of them and figure out what's going around. Going around down here. Going, going on. Going on. I can't speak. Whatever. You know what I mean. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.